Hi, I'm David Coulthard, and today I'm going to get to meet some of the key people behind the success of Wizz Air. And we're going to start, first of all, with the MD of UK, and that's Marion Jeffrey. Now, Marion, I've got to start, first of all, as someone who travels extensively, just what is the, the, the state of the aviation industry right now, the challenges that you face? Aviation has always been challenging, will always be challenging. It's a beautiful industry. Uh, where just passionate people work and uh, and work hard to deliver what we're delivering every day to our customers. So the aviation, of course, industry has faced some challenges, especially in the last four years, but is has recovered from this. And uh, today, um, it's July. It's it's the peak season. We, uh, we 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 work around the clock to ensure that our our customers fly to their destination uh, every day, despite what 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 we can face, weather or 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 other things that make aviation a difficult uh, environment to work in. It's like, it's like a big puzzle. It's a big puzzle with a lot of people involved. And at the end of the day, the puzzle needs to be complete. And let's say this is when your aircraft takes off. If the puzzle is complete, the aircraft takes off and, uh, and you reach uh, what you want to achieve. Yeah. Now, in terms of your role as MD, you've been in this, this role for a few years now. Um, a day-to-day, uh, like, what does that look like for you? I, I get the impression, just listening to what some of the challenges are, it's something that changes every single day. It does change every single day, and it's almost a 24-7 job, uh, because there are there is always something happening in aviation, and, and as an airline, you're almost always flying, you always have aircraft in the air. So a day in, 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 in the life of the MD is, is about first about people. I rely on a team and the team makes it work. So it's really about ensuring that the team uh, is there to, uh, to, to perform what they have to perform and to understand uh, the strategy as well of the business. So it's really to drive a team. And then it's being in charge of operations. So aircraft taking off, aircraft landing, being on time uh, and, and, and being, being good at customer service. So there are a lot of different themes uh, working around the product. Uh, so this is ensuring that the product is consistent day to day, but also looking at the strategy of the business at the long term strategy together with the board and of course designing what's going to be the future of Wizz UK. Yes, fantastic. Now, sustainability is a big topic within the world of Formula One right now, and there's striving towards trying to get to, to net zero there. I, I know there's many similarities in the aviation world. Where, where does Wizz Air sit in terms of that sustainability? I believe like your average aircraft uh, age is around five years, that's a very young fleet. It's actually closer to four years. My we have bad, excuse me. The, <laughs> we have one of the youngest fleet in the world. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have continuously new aircraft being delivered to our fleet, and that ensures that the average fleet age remains as low as possible. Why? Because it's the best technology. We operate the best technology, the youngest technology, uh, which is much more fuel efficient, and therefore the CO2 emission, which is the main metric we look at because we're very conscious of that, gets lower and lower year after year. There's so many similarities between the world that I've operated in, in, in motorsports industry and of course aviation, where it's highly competitive. We line up alongside our competitors in the pit lane, you line up si uh, alongside your competitors at the actual airport. So how, how do you find a way to stay ahead of them? There is one simple answer to that, it's costs. So our, um, our business is a low cost business model and we do offer fares that are lower than our competitors simply because we have a lower cost base. We have very new aircraft that uh, are very fuel efficient and this is a huge driver of, of cost, of getting the cost down compared to our competitors. Um, another example is that on board our aircraft, we sit 239 customers. Most aircraft have, have less seats, which drives the cost up as well. Those are just two examples of our business model, but everything is along the same lines where we drive the cost down, we drive the fares down, and we can stimulate the, the demand from the customers, and we manage to, to build and to expand thanks to this business model. Well, Marion, thank you so much for your time. Our two industries are linked by races that never end. Every day you have to deliver. Every day we go on track, we have to deliver. It's been fascinating to discover the challenges that you have. So thank you very much. Thank you, David. And I now have the chance to meet with Senior Ground Operations Manager, Esther Rosahegi. Well, we're having the opportunity to chat clearly beside the aircraft, but actually, where are we here at Luton Airport? 
So we are on the apron of the of the airport. This is where we keep the aircraft. This is where the aircrafts turn around. Um, this is where you as a customer walk out to the aircraft, but so many more things happen, fueling, baggage loading, and servicing the aircraft all around. You're one of the industry leaders turning an aircraft around from landing and deboarding to then being ready to go again. Your target's 35 minutes. How do you achieve that? The only way it works is everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody has their little dedicated task. Um, there are as many as 22 tasks during a turnaround. So until, um, unless you know you do them all the time um, and you're running them all at the same time, they're not going to be part of the time. So it's, it really is kind of like a theater production, if you will. And in terms of how that plays into the many aircraft that are operational at any given time, when you see them leave the apron and disappear into the air, do you go, ah, good, I have a break? Or is that immediately you're preparing for the next aircraft There's to come There's never in? any break. There's yeah. never any break. Yeah, no, we're continuously monitoring the operations and we're very happy when they do leave on time. Uh, we're very happy when they do arrive on time. There's so much travel now. I mean, the airspace is extremely congested over Europe and our competitors are offering us quite similar products, so we just need to do better than them. We need to be more on time, we need to be safer, we need to be pinker. Well, Esther, thank you so much. I've now had the opportunity to see pretty much how the whole operation works, and it really is fantastic insight. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, I'm going to meet with Philip Cullen, who's head of UK operations. Hi, Philip. Hi, to you, David. How, how are, are you? you? Nice doing? to see you. Come thank on board. You. Excellent. Well, Philip, you've brought me right into the heart of the yeah. operation, right into uh, the flight deck. And before we get into a further explanation here, I'd like to know a little bit more about yourself. Sure. Because as I understand it, you've basically done pretty much everything in this industry. So just take us through that. Yeah, I, I was fortunate. I, I started my career as an engineer for British Airways. Um, and that's really where my, my love of flying came in. Uh, and after being an engineer for four and a half years at British Airways, I then had a chance at a cabin crew for a year. I wasn't very good at it, I must admit, but I give it a go. Uh, and then after that, I went into operations management over at, uh, for KLM in Schiphol. Uh, that then took me into becoming a pilot, which was really my childhood dream since I was seven. So to come to work and, and do what is your dream makes life really easy. And, and from there, I've been a pilot now for 24 years, uh, mostly on, on this, this particular aircraft, the Airbus. Uh, and now I'm head of operations for Wizz Air UK. So that's really an extensive knowledge of the industry. Wizz Air, 20 year operating business, uh, incredible growth in the UK. You've got experience of other airlines. What, what would you say, just to get to straight to the heart of it, is the DNA difference with Wizz Air? I think the DNA difference with Wizz Air is, is its, its passion, its ambition. And, and how it's, how it's bringing travel uh, accessibility to everybody. I think the reason I joined Wizz Air two years ago was, was its, its investment and it, in its future. You don't see many airlines grow the way Wizz Air want to grow. I mean, this, this aircraft that we're on today, it was delivered on the 9th of February, so we've got very new aircraft. We're right at the forepoint of, of technology innovation, but also sustainability with this particular aircraft that we've got. And being in charge of, of operations and the fact that you have still regular flights to keep your license sure. up, do you think that gives you uh, and therefore your colleagues a competitive advantage because you're not sort of pigeonholed into just one area of the industry? Yeah, I think I, I'm very fortunate to have the, the career I've had, but I'm also surrounded by a team of experts. So whilst I've done many different things in the airline industry, I don't profess to be an expert of all of them and that's why I'm surrounded by such a great team. To get out there and see what the, what the crew are facing every day, the, there's many things that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day operational basis. To experience it for myself uh, is a really valuable management uh, tool that I can then use. I also rely a lot on the crew to tell me what's going on, they're my eyes and ears. Um, and, and there's a level of, uh, of respect that we have for each other with the fact that I do the job as well. And one of the things you mentioned right at the beginning, which I really love, is that part of the, the, the enjoyment of this industry is the fact that you're enabling people to not only go on business trips, yeah. but I guess for Wizz Air especially, it's about taking people off for well-earned holidays and breaks. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the holiday starts from the home. So the, the booking experience, how, you, how easy it is for you to book with Wizz Air, and then from when you get to the airport. So, so pretty much this is part of your holiday and we, make, we want to make sure that A, you get to your holiday safely, on time, but also you have a nice experience when you do it. So again, these are, these are the things that our team 
uh, helps to deliver. Yeah. Well, thank you for giving me those insights. Oh, you're you're and, welcome. Uh, it's great to see you on board. Yeah, this 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 actually feels a little bit like a, a childhood dream yeah. as well. <laughs> the feeling of empowerment. And we're we're currently programmed to go to Budapest, so I'm sure well, we, I'm sure we can get you there this afternoon. I'm looking forward to that flight. Great. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks, David. Thank you.